good shot of the police station here. And this is the big square. That's the main mode of transportation is the jeepneys. And there's lunch. Okay, I'm gonna wait to hear back from Mertz and then we'll get some more video later maybe. Thank I'm you. not gonna try to get too far away from the motorcycle this morning, so while I'm standing here, I don't wanna carry the helmet. I've got some good Christmas gift for him. So I don't wanna be carrying that around. So I'll try to shoot a little video here for you of what the landscape's like. Uh, don't know if they got a lot more or not, but uh, the, all the trees are so nice. These are some really weird looking trees. They're year round Christmas trees, I guess. Imagine what would happen if you put some, some lights on them. It'd be nice. But this is the Central Park or the City Park. I think that's the uh, gymnasium or something in the background here. Walk through here. It's kind of a little waiting area and a gathering area there. Yeah, it's a gym. This is this is their local gym. So they probably have a lot of functions going on in there. And then in the background here, always near the square, they've got the church back there. If I've got time later, maybe I can shoot a picture of the church on the outside. This is the first time I've seen a gymnasium in the middle of the city park, but uh, functionality, I guess it would work fine. Well, I'm waiting on merch. So I'll get you a little more video here. Uh, looks like the military man uh, with, with American American uh, helmet on and got some gears there and a bat and a bolo. And then you got a fallen soldier there it looks like. In the background here is the, the uh, Municipal Hall. Uh, Barra Talk Nuevo Municipal Hall. And just like always here in the Philippines, the background there you're going to be seeing uh, bamboo scaffolding. Not today. It's bamboo scaffolding and uh, hollow block, and then they pour pour a beam. And then here's your police station. National Police Commission, Republic of the Philippines. National. It's a PNP and the Baratok Nuevo Municipal Police Station. Baratok Nuevo Ilo Ilo. So that's where we're at. Very typical of small towns here. We've got a road grader here. You don't see much equipment like this. And there's their 7-Eleven or the Sorry Sorry stores. head back to the bike. There's really not a whole lot to show you in each one of these little towns unless you've, you've got somebody that uh, knows the history of it and they can point a few things out. Uh, everything's pretty simple. The, the, the square, the church, and the police station, they're all pretty much, they're right there in the center of town and everything centers around that and I find that with everything. Well I'm here in front of the, their church here and apparently caught them this is Sunday, Christmas I mean, excuse me, feel like Sunday. And so they're holding services, Christmas Mass I'm sure. I'm going to try to get a little bit of a video of this. I can't go inside during the services. I don't want to do that. 
Looks like there's the main entrance is around the side here. Good morning. Right in the background. They've got the uh, Barrow Talk Nuevo Catholic Convent. It looks like this is the parking spot for the church too. So they've used this, the side entrance now as their main entrance instead of the front. Hello. Hello. around here and get some video here. It's a pretty good sized church. It's amazing how they, these, with Spanish influence, they can come in here to these small towns out in the middle of nowhere and build such magnificent structures. That's a long way up there. Try to pick it up and get a little more video on the street here on the motorcycle. Uh, I'm gonna head back soon. I haven't, still haven't heard from Merz. I've sent two emails or two 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 messages, three messages now. Uh, but let me try to get a little bit more town of the town here. This is just exactly what your rural cities look like going through town here. A lot of motorcycles, a lot of tricycles, a lot of noise, a lot of dust. There's your police station and municipal hall and your park over here off to the side. There's the bamboo construction we saw earlier. Here's the way on the way out of town. Here's your jeepneys waiting, lined up, and ready to rock and roll. Kind of crowded in here. Hey, Merry Christmas. It's a little crowded in here. Well, I'm on the way back. Uh, I'm going to shoot a little bit more video. But I'm on my way back. And I'm going to try to get a little bit of scenery on the way back. I didn't get any on the way here. Uh, she was feeling sick, so I would want to try to get here as quick as I could. All these little rural towns are alike, a lot alike. Each one has got their own specific function. Of, uh, they got their own buildings and, and their own people uh, and their own history. But, but the life in the Philippines in each one of these little towns is pretty much the same. Uh, you got corn. Uh, they raise they raise corn. Uh, everybody raises rice, um, and you'll see banana trees lined lined around the corn and the rice fields. Here's an elementary school here. It's a big school, just like America. They've got big schools. A lot of pride in their schools too. Lucy motorcycles. They're supposed to be 
Honda knockoffs built by Honda and they put them together here. But who knows? Here's your above ground cemeteries. Cemeteries here that are, are most of the time above ground, I believe, and they stack the boxes, the, the caskets, and then they seal them up in cement and concrete, and they'll stack uh, family members on top of each other and, and ca cascade the, cap, uh, the caskets upward like that. And they're on both sides of the road here, pretty good sized cemetery. These people must have been pretty important. They got their own little building. Real nice headstones on them or markers on them. A lot of times here in the Philippines, people actually live in the cemeteries, live on top of the caskets and uh, take care of them, keep the weeds pulled, but they're not doing that here. I think you'll find that more in Manila. Okay. We're going to turn this off as we head back into Iloilo. Ilo. Check my phone one more time, but I think this is kind of a... Uh, I had a fun ride this morning, but uh, not going to be able to meet up with her.